Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about Kalais Mordinsky uh, bargaining rule. Um, so how do we define it? Well, for any bargaining problem, SD, we define what's called aspiration point of uh, negotiator I. So what is it? Well, it's defined by, it's de denoted by AISD, and it's nothing but the maximum X uh, player I can get. Uh, within the set of individual, irrational, and feasible payoffs of the bargaining uh, problem. Okay, so it's basically the maximum payoff player I can ever get in this bargaining game, uh, as long uh, given given the fact that this point is sorry individually rational, not for him but for everybody else. Okay, well then. Uh, this rule is denoted by KSD, so for any given bargaining problem. Uh, it, 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 so it's, it's a bit more complicated, the argument. Uh, so it's basically maximizing some uh, min function. So X's are coming from, again, individual, irrational, uh, and feasible payoffs. It, it, it maximizes this min function, where what is this min? So in this min, we have N terms. Uh, so this is player 1s, player 2, up to player n, and it chooses minimum of those. Well, what are those terms? These are ratios. So x1 is basically how much payoff player 1 is going to get, minus d1 is his... Uh, so that, that basically the additional payoff he's going to get from the solution, uh, additional on top of his disagreement point. In ratio to his aspiration point in relation to uh, his disagreement point. So we would like to keep this ratios minimum when we maximize. Uh, okay, so we would like to maximize this ratio, but we also would like to keep that everybody has exactly the same ratio. So intuitively, the rule K chooses the maximum individual irrational payoff profile at which each agent's payoff gain from disagreement, x1 minus d1, has the same proportion to his aspiration payoffs gain from his disagreement. Okay? So remember, uh, remember from the utility maximization in the micro theory, so a function like min xy Okay, so x and y are two real numbers. And when we try to maximize it, well then, the, this, this maximization is going to occur when x is equal to y. Remember? Well, why is that so? Well, because if, for example, x and y are different, let's say like this, uh, you basically, what you ba uh, basically do is, uh, at least in the utility maximization, subject to budget constraint, uh, yeah, the, 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 this min xy is equal to x, and you mul uh, you maximize it. Uh, but the thing is, uh, you know, if there is room for improvement, you actually would like to increase x all the way up to where x is equal to y. All right. So uh, again, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that those terms must be the same. That depends on the individual rational sets. But that's the idea. So this min function is basically trying to keep that everybody's ratios in comparison to his or her aspiration point is, is not too off. Okay, they're either the same or they're very close to one another. Okay, as much as possible uh, in this bargaining problem. So geometrically, what does it look like? So let's say this is payoff of player one, payoff of player two. So let's suppose this is the set S uh, D, all right? So D is the disagreement point. I assume it's here. All right, well, first off, in the uh, Kalai Smordinsky uh, rule, we only care about the individual irrational payoffs. So therefore, it's, it's this uh, region, not uh, the rest. So here, what is the maximum payoff player one can get? Well, obviously it's this point, right? What is the maximum point player two gets, payoff player two gets? It's this point. So this is basically A1. 
SD, and this is A2 SD, okay? And so, geometrically speaking, we know that this point where both agents get their best uh, sort of payoff is impossible because it's not feasible. So what this rule does is, well, it says, you know what? I would like to keep the ratio the same as much as possible. So therefore it says, I have to, I mean, this point is not feasible. I would love to give this point because that basically satisfies both of those negotiators' aspiration, but it's not feasible. So I'm gonna make it feasible. Uh, how can I make it feasible? Uh, by keeping the ratios uh, in, 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 in co under control. Well, I can do it by basically pulling this point towards my set S. And so this is going to what? this rule K proposes, okay? So geometrically, basically, this is how we find it. You first find the aspiration point for each negotiator, all right? And then connect this, these dots, and then basically draw a line between the disagreement point and the aspiration uh, payoff. And then uh, this line intersecting with the boundary is going to give us the uh, solution. This is how we find the solution. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about the, 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 the Kalais-Mordensky theorem and also give a numerical example to show you how we solve for the solution.